stampers it's kim vogel with the basement bunch stampers and back for another terrific tuesday video and today i'm going to share with you an amazing kit that is available in our annual catalog it is called love today planner kit and i love this planner kit and i actually asked one of my really good friends and customers Anne, if she wouldn't mind putting um, one of these planners together she was interested in ordering one and so i said hey how about if i give you one would you consider putting it together and that way i can demonstrate and show everybody it um, in a video and so she graciously agreed so thank you Anne, so much for allowing us to use your planner um, for my video today so the planner comes in a kit and everything is in the box together you get the awesome um I don't want to ruin her planner here but you get the awesome binder um looks like this and then you also get it all comes together in a kit that looks like this so it's got the the tabs for all the days of the months and you get to actually write them in so you can start this planner any month that you would like to and chose to start it in august um all of our kids go back to school tomorrow and so i'm eager to give this back to her so it made me realize to get this video done and back to her so you can kind of see how she put it together um between each of the months um you also have one of these let me show you a between the months first. Between the months you have a pretty little decorative, um, almost like a laminate piece um, with the tabs for all the months on it. And it also comes with a marker so you can put your marker in where the day is. Um, you can see that Anne has organized this um, very nicely with different um, soccer practices and things like that. She was mentioning to me that she, the, the one color of the soccer ball means it's an away game. Whereas there's another color, I want to say it might be blue, because our colors for our school are blue and gold, um, means that it's a home game. So anyway, but these just mean different things, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, and the neat thing about this is it also comes with stickers. Um, Anne told me she hasn't had much time to do a whole lot with the stickers yet. But she did leave them in the back of her binder, so I can show you all of them. So it comes with a nice little pocket folder, so with already the, the holes on it. So you could put up this pocket folder anywhere that you wanted in your um, portfolio. It comes with this cute little, um, little like post-it notes so that you could t um, tag different pages if you needed to. Um, and again, it wouldn't be crafty if we didn't have cute little stickers to dial things up with. So if you have um, haircut appointments, you could put your little scissors on there. Um, love could be for birthdays or things like that. Um, but it comes with um, two or three pages of these stickers. And then it also comes with these really pretty um, decorative foil looking stickers as well. So any special days that she might want to mark in her agenda um, book, she could. Um, this kit sells in the annual catalog for $37. The awesome thing about this is you could also spend an additional, I want to say it's $20. Let me look in the catalog again. But you can purchase a refill kit for it for the next year. So it's kind of a nice... Um, a nice uh, kit and a gift to give like you know young children you know younger daughters granddaughters um, but yes you can buy the refill for $27 and it will give you it comes just like this so you get everything again to re put into your book um, what it does not include is the binder itself um, but makes a great gift I'm gonna be giving this to a couple of my um, nieces for Christmas this year I figure it's a really great gift for them to be able to keep themselves organized at school and in college um, I love this binder. Um, I personally do everything on the computer, which is why I really appreciated Anne sharing it with me so that I could share it with all of you. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know about this. But this is, again, an amazing binder portfolio, and it's a really great offering for Stampin' Up! to come out with. I'm really, really excited about it. You can see you got lots of space here to be able to write doctor's appointments and things like that. Um, and I love that it's customized that you it's not dated so you can start this any month you have to just take the time to write the dates in yourself so anyway I thought it was a great project worth showing you as we start to approach the holiday season and we start to get ready for all of our um, gifts gift giving that we give um, the other thing I wanted to show you was something that I was working on this weekend so this video is going to be a, a two-in-one you're going to get two projects um, but my husband most of you know is an electrician and he's in business for himself and so this year I just decided to do some Christmas cards for him to give to his customers and the stamp set that we have out right now in the holiday catalog that is called wishes all aglow is the perfect 
perfect stamp set for an electrician to do Christmas cards. Um, so yes, you're probably thinking, why is she doing cards so early? I get so busy with my kids' schedules, my Stampin' Up! schedule, my work schedule, that I start my Christmas stuff very, very early. So these are just a couple different versions of the card. He didn't really care for the plaid one. He said he's not a plaid person. But I wanted to at least kind of go over a little bit how I did this card. And I didn't want it to be too girly looking. So I kind of tried to make it more masculine looking. Um, but I started with a piece of old olive cardstock cut to five and a half by eight and a half. And I just folded that and that becomes my card base. And then I have a piece of basic black that is cut five and a quarter by four. And then I have a piece of the green paper. This paper is in the um, annual catalog, I'm sorry, the holiday catalog. And I'm forgetting the name of it right now. Um, but let me find it real quick. It is called Merry Little Christmas Designer Series Paper. And it's up there at the very top. You can see all the different um, patterns that it comes in. And it's really um, basic black, old olive, and white. So I'm using most of the old olive for this, um, since that's kind of my color that I'm going with. So I am just going to adhere this onto the black. Now this piece is cut five by three and three fourths, and it's going on to the black piece that is cut five and a quarter by four. So it gives me that perfect little mat. Um, everything's always a quarter of an inch smaller, and that's what gives you that um, perfect little mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down, and then I am using a piece of the black and white um, striped ribbon. Again, I kind of wanted the cards to be masculine looking, um, but not yet not too, you know, not too plain, so to speak. Um, this ribbon is the 7 8 striped ribbon, and I cut a piece about the same size of the card, and I just cut it at an angle. And to adhere that, I simply put fast fuse down the middle of my card, and I adhered it down like so. Okay, and then what I did is I already previously, I have these two pieces of cardstock and I um, will mention the measurements in my video and when I add my text to this. I unfortunately don't have them off the top of my head, um, but I will also have them in here on the, in the text and on my blog post. But again, the one's a quarter of an inch smaller than the other. And in advance, I heat embossed that with gold embossing powder. That is the Ho 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 from the stamp set. And then I added Light the Season with Love and Laughter. And then I'm going to actually adhere this with dimensionals onto my card. And you're going to laugh at me because I am using the um, edges of my dimensionals. I do not waste anything. Um, nobody sees that these are the edges when you have them on the card and I I use so many dimensionals that I just there's no way I would want to waste all them. So usually when I'm doing my my own personal stuff I'm using the leftover scraps from all of my classes that I do um, and I'm just going to go ahead and hear this to the middle here look how cute that is and then I even put something on the inside um, this is five and a quarter by four and I stamped the, the um, lighted tree that's also from that stamp set and I am going to adhere this on the inside and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have little business cards made that just says you know thank you for your business um, from Matt Vogel Electric that's my husband's um, business name I'm going to put a little card inside of here so that they can use this card over again. And um, then whoever the receiver is has a cute little Christmas card. Isn't that adorable? Um, so anyway, again, today was a double project day. I wanted to be able to show, share with you an um, awesome item that you can use for a gift giving for um, young daughters or granddaughters or those in college or even working moms. It makes a great um, planner. And then I wanted to show you what I was working on today, um, that I was off today for Labor Day, and kind of what I was working on today for um, getting ready for the holidays. So thanks for stopping today. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I will see you back next week. Have a great day.